Richard, an Akuma 5 axis machine here, is some, something different this is. It, it looks, well, it looks like a very, very tasty bit of kit, is it? Yep, yeah, again, this is a very high end, very high technology field machine. You know, a lot of accuracy inside this machine as well. And there's plenty of models, let's start with this. This is a 6,300, but how many models are there within the range and how big do they get? Okay, yeah, so we've got on this, this range of machine, we've got the MU4000, which is the smallest version of this machine. Then we have the 5000, the 6300. We've also now got the 8000, which is the newest edition. And there's also a 10,000, which is bigger than the 8000 again. Okay, now it's not all about what they look like. Tell me about some of the, the reasons that this machine, this five axis machine is different to maybe others. Okay, you know, sort of one of the ones that's, that's been there sort of from the beginning really is the turning functionality. So our table can actually rotate on this particular machine up to 800 RPM, so we can turn components, which is a massive benefit for machines that need five axis capability of shortish components, but large diameter, and that five axis work as well on the same component. Is there a big demand for that? I think there is, you know, we've had a lot of interest in this type of machine. There's been a quite a few customers interested in this size of machine because of the size of swing we can get with our components. Okay, so that's one. T tell me some, some, uh, something to do with the software or the, the processing speed of the machine or something that, that makes it stand out. Again, with this machine, like with all the other Akuma range, we have the thermo-friendly concept that's on board all the machines. We can also have collision avoidance system, which is on quite a few of our other machines as well. But one of the standout ones which is quite new is this dynamic tool load. This is a function that um, it can measure the run out of a tool. So if you've got a flute in cut, a particular flute in cut, if that's high, what the machine can do is it can physically measure the tool itself, check all the run out of the, each flute individually, put that mapping into the control and automatically adjust your feed rate that you've commanded. This is then going to give you a massive saving on tool, basic tool cost on the heat resistance super alloys, titaniums, all sorts of different materials. And is this, is, this, is this standard in this machine? It's not a standard function, it is an option on these machines. Okay, that, that's, that's, that's impressive. Now, what I do like about this as well is, is the build. It, it is quite different. You've got a bridge type construction. What does that offer when you're machining? You know, it's, it's high rigidity. That's what, you know, people look at a bridge type machine. That bridge is sat there, solid. It is the rigidity of this machine. It's a very rigid machine. And what about your spindle? You've got options BT50, BT40, HSK? Yeah, so there's a whole range of different spindle uh, adaptations on this one. So we've got HSK63, Capto C6, HSK100, which this machine is, uh, BT50. So there's a whole range of different spindles, different powers. And, and when I look at the machine like this, with the size of it and the amount of, uh, well, the fact you've got a very big table and the bridge moving around, does that mean it's slow? No, no, not at all. This is quite a fast machine, you know. This is, this is a big, rigid construction, but still a very fast and rapid machine. So you've got the best of both worlds there. That's correct, yeah. Loading, you, you, again, often overlooked, but this looks like it's quite ergonomical. You can stand in there, uh, check component tree. Mind you, that would probably be done by the machine anyway, but certainly from a loading perspective, it's, it's quite, well, it's ergonomic. Yeah, so it's been designed in such a way, so when the operator is there, when the door opens, you are physically closer inside that machine, close to that component. Everything is there right in front of the operator, so it's easy for him to load, adjust the fixture in, whatever he needs to do is quite easy there on the front of the machine. What we can also do is this type of machine, because the trunnion goes under the bridge, we offer then the APC system. This goes on the far side of the machine, which means we don't interfere with the operator area at the front of the machine. APC, so now we're going down the path of automation. Yes, so the automation, this, this is one of the reasons why Akuma changed the design, so we can expand this automation on this machine. So we can have like a two APC, six APC, or we can connect it to a FASTIM system, for instance. Now you've got a component on this, this table, which is, I suppose, a very good example of what you'd machine on here. But what sort of industries and what sort of component tree is general run of the mill stuff that you might do on a machine of this nature? You know, it's, it's, it's aerospace, turbo machinery. There's a, there's a whole range of different customers out there that need this type of machine. Something that's a large diameter, you've got to swing a large diameter and you've got five axis work and turning work to do on it. You obviously know the Akuma range well. Is this one of your favorites? It is one of my favorites, yes. Very nice machine.